Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull the output shaft speed sensor out. I'm going to slide the camera down in so that we can watch the final drive. We want to watch the output shaft turn. Okay, so watch the rotation of the output shaft, and this is what the output speed sensor would be picking up on. You see the rotation of the gear, and each time it passes the sensor, it sends a signal to the computer that the shaft is turning at this speed. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was inside of the speed sensor, you're looking at all of the little electronics that it takes to create the pulse off of the shaft that goes to the computer. That pulse, how many times that shaft passes the speed sensor, controls your speedometer, it controls shift points, it controls when the solenoid is to be excited and shift you to the next gear and it all comes through these little speed sensors. So when one of these speed sensors goes bad, what issues that you could have would be a harsh downshift, you could have a erratic upshift, you could have a no shift, uh, your speedometer could not be working. Uh, you may have a falling out of gear where you would be riding down the road, uh, this signal get interrupted and it would kick you down to the gear below. Um, say if you was in third, it would kick you down to second and then maybe kick you back out into third. And then when it acts up again, it would kick you down again. So speed sensors control all of the shift points on the newer transmissions. They have a whole lot to do with how your transmission works and how smooth it works. So most rear wheel drive transmissions will be lined up like this, your input, your intermediate, and your output. Now, if it's a four wheel drive, the output may be on the transfer case. So always make sure that you look at the transfer case. Some rear wheel drives have the output speed sensor actually on the wheel hub. There are some that have the speed sensor on the rear differential. So make sure you do your homework and know that you're replacing the right one. Ford has the output speed sensor on the differential in some of their trucks. And the strange thing about that is, is that it will be listed as an ABS speed sensor. So you have to watch that, and make sure you get the right speed sensor. Also on some front wheel drives, the output speed sensor may be closer to the bell housing than your input speed sensor. It's kind of strange, but that is on some front wheel drives that your speed sensors seem like they are the opposite of where they should be. And that allows the computer to see the beginning of the transmission, the middle of the transmission, and the end of the transmission to know exactly where those shift points needs to be. And that is how speed sensors work on an automatic transmission. This is Codeman's Auto. Please like and subscribe.